to Dog Paw Blog. I am thinking about doing a series video. Um, I want to do kind of a series of the different categories of dog supplies that I have. Um, hopefully it'll be helpful to some of you. Uh, it'll be just different products I like to use, different websites I shop at. Um, so the first video in the series I want to do is going to be based on um, travel. Um, I'm going to break the video down into probably like three or four parts. The first one is going to be automotive, and then um, road trip, and then air travel, and then kind of just a general miscellaneous um, category. Coco is likely going to make several cameos in this video because most of this stuff is for her. She's going to be very excited and be in the video because she's going to be trying to get to all of her stuff. So the first thing I'm going to show you is Coco's car seat. Now I didn't have that expensive snoozer car seat um, so I got this one on eBay and it's the Pet Gear large car seat and it's actually meant to fit two small dogs. Back here were the original tethers um, but if you can see they're only barely sewn into just the seam like there's no real anchor or anything. So I took those off and they're actually in her stroller. But what I do use is a seatbelt attachment harness deal. If any of you are familiar with the snoozer, here she comes. <laughs> if any of you are familiar with the snoozer, it, you know it comes with like a pocket in the front. with You can get the pet's name monogrammed on it. Uh, this one doesn't come with that. So I'm going to lift her up and dump her out so you can see. <laughs> it does come with this groove in the foam that's cut out where you slide the seatbelt through. But because I use a seatbelt attachment, um, I don't need to use that seatbelt thread. So what I did is I went and got a school box from Michaels for a dollar. And I keep in it um, an extra leash and harness. So that's just kind of like my makeshift <laughs> do-it-yourself pocket for a car seat. Also in here, I keep what she's actually chewing on, a rawhide and then one of her stuffed toys. Um, there's a pillow. <laughs> in here and then I just got this uh, dog paw blanket from Target Dollar Spot so that is her car seat um, again I'll try to put the link for everything I'm talking about um, down in the down bar if you're interested in checking it out but that is her car seat I'm gonna move her <laughs> alright so speaking of car safety I use um, seat, seat belt attachments to keep the dogs restrained within the vehicle. Now, the safest way to travel with a pet in the car is to actually keep them in a crate that is secured in the car. So it can't move around and the dog won't go flying if you're in an accident. But just to keep them in their seats and keep them from trying to jump up front or be ridiculous in the car, I just got these from eBay and they just slip around the seat belt and you buckle the seat belt in. And then this part attaches to the harness. And you want to make sure that you're always attaching any kind of restraint in the car to their harness and not their collar. Because in a sudden stop, you can really cause a lot of damage to the pet's um, neck. So these are just these three are for the boys. And then this one is um, Coco's. I got hers later, so that's why it's different. This one's actually from Petco. And it came with a actual harness, but I don't like to use that when I use one of her regular harnesses. So that's just that. And they, they get buckled in. Another thing I keep in the car are just kind of backup supplies. I got this box from Hobby Lobby. They sell the exact same box at Staples. So it's just a hard plastic kind of shallow box. And first thing I keep in here on top are their records. I don't necessarily keep their full records for vaccines, but I do keep their rabies. Um, that's one of the more important things if you're, if you're out with your pet and they bite someone, if there's an incident, you want to make sure that you have like, you know, your county license and your rabies certificate accessible, even if it's on your phone or whatever, but I just keep it in here. And then I also keep a current picture of each pet because if they got away from me while we were out and I needed to like make a lost poster or something like that, I have pictures of them. Here's Bam Bam. I'll show you Bam Bam. <laughs> I just have updated pictures of them in here as well. So I just keep that in my, my car. I also keep tons and tons of extra poopy bags because <laughs> you just never want to be walking your dog somewhere and they do their business and you don't have nothing to clean it up with because you look like a bad pet owner. Just always have spare baggies with you. 
Then I have a couple of these portable water bowls that pop up. These are pretty neat to have. You run into the park or whatever. You can use your own bowl. Folds flat. Same thing with this one. It folds flat. Then I have um, this water bottle. I think I got this off eBay as well. And it's um, kind of similar to what Coco drinks out of normally at the house. It's just got that, you know, roller ball going on with it. Here she comes again. <laughs> and it's got the carabiner, which is nice. Last thing in here is a couple of treats. Just some, some doggy treats. So yeah, it's not very much in the car box. Um, the only other thing I probably would put in there is like a spare leash, just in case like a leash breaks or something. So now I'm gonna move on to our road trip supply. First thing with the road trips, um, Coco tends to get her own bags, just because you know I'm packing my suitcase, so she needs stuff. She has her grooming junk and toys and food. Again, Coco is the one we take with us on vacation because you know you're often limited to like one small dog when you're, you know, going to be staying somewhere. So first thing we did was get a canvas tote to put most of her stuff in. Now I got this bag from Hobby Lobby and <laughs> the letters are also from Hobby Lobby. It spells out her first name. I don't know if you're able to really see. Um, in the front there are two large pockets. In these large pockets I like to put her leash and harness and in this side I'll put, um, like if your dog was on medication you could put medication or something but I just throw some of her toys in here. So this is really nice if you if you have a boarding facility that gives you back your things. I know a lot of places are like, oh well, we can't guarantee that you'll get your stuff returned to you. But if you have a boarding place that you've used before and you know you're going to get your stuff back, bringing one of these tote bags is really nice because you can just keep your dog's stuff together and uh, it won't get mixed up with someone else's. The inside is just um, completely hollow and this is where I throw her food in. And the back, there's nothing like on the bag itself. But what I did was make a sheet. I don't really want to show it because it has like all my personal information. But I'll show you this part of it maybe. Mm. It has uh, some information about her vet, the food that she eats, her microchip number, how old she is, some identifying you know markers and things like that about her. In case of emergency contact and yeah that's it I said the vet number so in case the boarding facility needed to get a hold of someone and usually any boarding facility is gonna make you fill out paperwork anyway but this is just right here if you're taking your dog to like a friend's house for your friend to watch them that they'll have all that information it's just really helpful um, if you're taking your dog with you on vacation but you're going to maybe daycare board them for like the day while you're out sightseeing this would be really good because you know they're not familiar with your pet at all and then on the back of that same sheet I just put you know again the pictures so that they they know who it is if they need to make a lost poster I don't know I just like to have a lot of just in cases so this just goes right on the bag it's um, just secured with some washi tape and the little book ring so it stays put so that is her boarding bag, but this goes with us. The next thing I want to show you is from Walmart. It is a everything Mary's or Mary's everything. Um, what is it called? Sewing machine case. <laughs> Took a while to get that out. It's really nice. It has a telescoping handle. It's wheels on it. Exterior pockets on both sides, and in the front there's this pocket here. It's, uh, it does zip close. On the top here, there are these little organizing pockets, which is really nice for like grooming supplies or something. And then the inside is hollow. Now they do make something similar to this and it's called a craft tote. And I think the craft tote just has like more organizing pockets instead of just being hollow on the inside. But this is where, you know, anything else will go. Grooming supplies, extra toys, so yeah, this is just what I, I use um, as far as the kind of her suitcase. Kind of. Next thing I'm going to show is going to be the two carriers that I use for airplane travel. The main one I use is her um, sturdy bag. So this is the sturdy bag large, and it comes in different colors and different sizes. Uh, this is sturdy bag large and black. 
and it's a really great carrier. It's really heavy duty. I've done a video on it. I'll link the video review in the bottom. Um, the other thing I wanted to show was her other carrier. This one is um, Argo by Tifco or Tifco by Argo. And this one comes in different colors as well. And there's different styles. I'll have to link it because I don't know exactly what this one's called. This is a really great one as well. The um, attachments and the zippers are really great. There's external storage pockets. And there's it's airline approved. So there's three points of access. Leak proof bottom and all that. So those are just the, the main carriers. And I'll likely do more in-depth reviews on this one. Because I haven't done a review on that one yet. But I have done a review on this bag. So the other accessory for flying with Coco in cabin. And the flight. She goes under the seat. Is um this. If I can get it out. If you are traveling with your pet in cabin, you will have to go through TSA security with them. You'll have to take your shoes off and your jacket and your belt. And you will also have to take your laptop out and put all that stuff in bins. But then you'll have to take your dog out as well, <laughs> which is really um, a pain in the butt. Because you have to stand there with your dog and have your hand swabbed. So if you're holding your dog and you're trying to watch your stuff and your dog gets out of your hands, or forbid your cat, because you can take cats on, on board as well. They're just going to be running around the airport loose. So, Fast Pass, let me show you, Fast Pass has made a um, leash and collar and harness that don't have any metal in them. So you don't have to take them, take this off of them to go through the security. You do need to announce that when you're about to walk through because they'll tell you to take it off and you just see oh no this is TSA approved there's no metal and then you can just go through even like the attachments are just they're just plastic it's really neat and you still get like an ID tag um, I would probably opt for the harness just because we all know that dogs and cats can pull out of collars really easily but she did pretty well I was holding her anyway but yeah this just lives in the carrier because this is the only time I ever ever bring it with me the other great thing about um, flying with her she does pretty well in a crate so no don't don't get in it yet okay <laughs> uh these are just like her records and stuff and the airline pet policy which i print out because a lot of times their own employees are not aware of their own rules this is called a dry fur pad and it is exactly <laughs> what it looks and sounds like it looks like a gigantic sanitary napkin feminine napkin it goes in the bottom of the carrier. So how it's supposed to work is you're supposed to get like a size bigger than your, your carrier bottom. Because it's not supposed to lay flat like this. It's actually supposed to curl up and make like a little boat, like a little wall to catch all the fluid. And you get two in a pack and they come in different colors and different sizes. And these are really great. So you do one on the way to your location and then one on the way back home. And this is really great to put in the bottom of a carrier. I don't, I don't know what she's doing. I really don't. I, don't. I don't know what she's doing. Okay, so <laughs> I'm going to move her once again out of the way. And I'm going to show you the very last thing. And this is just kind of general information. I'm um, general, not general information. General supplies that I take either for flights or for road trips. And I keep them in a travel box. So this Stop. is Coco's travel box. Can you even see it? Okay, that's better. And it's just, you know, storage bin from Target. But I store all the things I usually pack for her when we travel. So I'm just going to go through it. This here is what I lay down as far as a grooming mat. A lot of times we are in hotels or rental places and I'm at a bathroom counter grooming her. And this just, it's a, you know, backing on it so she won't slide around. It's something comfortable for her to lay on. That's just her grooming mat. Always, always travel with puppy pads for the airport, airplane, <laughs> the place you're staying in travel with pee pee pads this is just another bag that I'm probably actually gonna give away now because this is what I was using to keep her grooming stuff in before I got the other stuff this is a, a much older bag so I might actually get rid of that this is the carrier I take on vacations as far as um, taking her with me to places uh, so not her airplane carrier but like just her just I'm bring her along with me into maybe stores or whatever and it folds completely flat and I lay this in the bottom of a suitcase got a little peekaboo hole and one little pocket for outside storage has a leash in it just black on the inside has little rubber feet on the bottom it's pretty nice it zips up and this is just it's for specifically for travel I also keep a top knot pillow 
in here because you know we're grooming so bring that in addition to grooming products this is from sturdy products as well and it's a hanging organizer so it's just got a little handle on it and when you unzip it you can hang it in the back there was like a little hanger and you can keep all the grooming supplies there's just a whole bunch of different zippers and then there are little things here so i usually put our combs in it pockets on the side pocket in the front it's really nice this little box is actually what I used to keep my first pair of clippers in when, like, years and years ago. But it's a very hard black box with a little handle. And this is what I travel um, in a carry-on in cabin with some of her grooming supplies in it. Just stuff I know that I would not be able to get at PetSmart. Things I don't want to lose. Things I'll need to groom her with. And it's just really hard and protective. So it's nice to keep that. Um, these are just bags that I keep. Little Ziploc bags for putting stuff in. This here is the water bottle for the plane. So I take it empty, of course, but once you get past TSA security, you can fill it up at a water fountain or a bathroom. And this is just the water bottle that she drinks out of in the plane because I can flip this through the carrier and she can drink on the plane. These big bowls are for mainly road trips that are like plastic and rubber. So I take these, you know, road trip. This here is a water bottle that I take flights or road trips and it you have to build it you have to put it together but it's just this little pink one here and it has a stand and you, know, you just put it together and that stays in whatever um, house or room that we're staying in also have just her little bottoms she's not spayed and she hasn't been spayed we probably are going to spay her pretty soon yes these are yours <laughs> and <laughs> i can't show them um these are just her little bottoms in case she starts if she goes into heat while we're um on vacation she doesn't make a mess because she's got her little bottoms and then a little plastic bag to put liquids in just you know yeah so I think that was everything I wanted to show you guys. Um, if you have any questions about anything, again, I'm going to put the links for what I can find online. I'm going to put the links in the down bar. And if you travel with your pets a lot, you have small dogs or whatnot, and you fly with them or take road trips with them, leave down below what you like to bring with them that you find useful or helpful that I didn't include. And check out my Instagram and my Tumblr. Links will be down in the bar below. Thank you for watching. I really enjoyed making this video. And again, it'll be a series of different supplies. So look forward to that. Thanks for watching. Bye.